first incident where I ever encountered witchcraft is so deeply traumatic to me. That is where it started my life as an unstable 20-something year old, getting pregnant, breaking up with that man, finding out I'm pregnant, moving back in with my family, uh, having an abortion when I didn't even fucking think about it, led me to drugs. That drug habit led me to five to seven years of didn't even know what is going on with my life absolute traumatic things until I started getting better when I first went to California and got sober through my mom's insurance and no my mom and dad did not fucking deal with this lightly I have been treated rough just like you tr treat me rough as a cancer that's exactly how my family treated me I had no love after my first traumatic incidents not even a person gave me a hug so yes I ended up in the psych ward many times I ended up in drug habits, drug addiction. I ended up beaten by almost all the boyfriends that I ended up with. Left homeless a million times. I got robbed a million times by my best friends and my man. All the men that I was with, I got beaten up. I got raped and roofied. I can go on and on. I don't like talking about this stuff because once I went to California and started doing the therapy and got to the root of the issue with the witchcraft, and the things that started happening after that I started beginning to heal and then I don't know I was in and out of treatment and rehab and psych wards from uh, domestic violence from trying to like not live with my parents anymore ending up in yeah domestic violence basically ended up getting all my stuff taken so many fucking times um, until I came out into Arizona in 2017 from my last breakup his parents were also Christians. They ran a church and they sent me on a plane without telling any of my family members that I was coming. And luckily I'm always taken care of. I ended up at my, my homie's house in Tempe. He had a room, ended up there, ended up in Tempe working at Fat Tuesdays, Devil's Advocate, uh, still in my addiction, but that was probably the worst that it was. It was all bad, all of it. Um, until my roommate moved out because of my addiction and had some psycho move in off Craigslist and I beat the fuck out of him. I lost my house and then I moved to the west side of Phoenix with my family and me and my brother got into a bad altercation on Christmas. On 2019, I almost died. I woke up on a ventilator and the first thing I said was to the doctors, like, do you want my number? And he put me back out. And that's when I first got on Seroquel and started giving the sleep I needed and found Copa Health is what it is called today. 